welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts. Today we are rehousing a curtain web inspired at the Ishnathelia Cordata. We got it from Jeremy's Wild World. I am looking for a sub, uh, sub adult or juvenile male as well as so if you see one around please let me know um, and there's good reason for that and you'll find out in this video. Anyway let's get into it. So we have already gone ahead and put a drainage layer in there, nice and thick, because when this gill goes in here and webs up, it's going to be difficult to try and get water down to the bottom. So hopefully I've got a bit of water in there already, so let that aid moisture. About half inch to an inch of substrate as well. Don't have to go mad with the substrate with this, because this species does not, will not burrow. If there is a burrow, it will actually go into vacant burrows and use those so just while we're setting it up so th this this piece of timber here i've kind of lined it up cut pieces off it so it'll sit in here quite nicely so that's what we're just going to push it down to there and just ease it down that is absolutely perfect interestingly enough the ishnathelia cordata um, is found in mexico all the way to brazil so the range of environments it actually lives in is really, really varied. Um, but they do thrive a little bit better in a little bit more of a higher humidity environment. Um, hence this moss going in there to help aid that, that humidity. And our spider was first described by Anton Hussier in 1875. Interestingly enough, uh, cordatus in Latin actually means tailed. And with the size of the spinnerets of this girl's got, we can kind of see why it was called tailed, or cordatus as it is in the Latin name. Again, all this moss going in, she'll probably create a webbing um, <laughs> and entangle quite a lot of this moss in with it. But that's all good. What I'm trying to go for is like, just a cool looking enclosure so she can web up we can still observe our spider in there and I'll put that piece of moss just there that's looking pretty epic I'm gonna go I think we're gonna try maybe just I hope I don't overdo it now maybe just a bit of a bit of moss heavy in this corner. There we go. We've got the, the females actually just here. The females in there. <laughs> um, it is a large juvenile female. I am looking for a uh, small juvenile male, large, ju uh, large juvenile male. So if you do see one or know somebody that's got one and they're willing to part with it, please let me know. Uh, there's a a good reason for that too. I was reading a paper on these and what that paper says is it was discovered that they're sub-social. So what that means, I'm gonna put that little that little cup just in there as well. No I'm not I'm gonna move it because I want to see that space. I want to see that space just there. So what that actually means sub-social is the females have actually been observed to be bringing up the young and living with them indefinitely. Um, you can't mix, you couldn't pull like a baby from one clutch and a baby from another lot. You can with Balfouris. They have to be related and they have to grow up together as a family. But this paper did say that she will live with those slings until their adulthood, which suggests to me... That when they're adults, who knows what could happen from that point. Could we see brother and sister babies uh, within the spider? Uh, we'll have to just wait and see. But I'm, I'm pretty excited. I really want to get, get a male. Try it out. I've got bigger enclosure um, that we can use to do that with. And I just think it would be such an exciting project. Right, that's created like... That's looking, it looks more like an aquarium, doesn't it, than an actual spider enclosure. I'm going to give it a little bit of a spray down. Oh, 
But when, when we're doing our setups, we might as well make them look pretty cool for us as well as being a, a really nice environment for our spider as well. And that is it set up. Now you, <laughs> I know, I know, I always mention water bowls. This species, however, will literally web everywhere. She'll bounce across that webbing for food. Um, I'm hoping to get loads of shots of her doing that in shorts because they look absolutely epic. They make like a little funnel and the rest of it just kind of spreads across. It'd be like massive curtains coming across here. It'll look absolutely amazing. Um, but if we put a water dish down here, she'll web all across the top here. So we're not going to get water to it. So I'm going to let her build a web and then just keep spraying that web uh, once a week so she comes out and has a drink. I mean, look at the webbing that she's done in there already. It's not the biggest of spiders. These will grow to a maximum of around half an inch, if that. Uh, she's just there, look. So now comes the struggle of trying to get her out of there and into there. So this one's going to be a, bit, a little bit challenging. They are pretty, pretty quick, although they do seem to hide. So what we're going to do is just move this piece of thread. I don't know where that's come from. What we're going to do is try and capture it in a sling pot somehow. Oh, look, there she is, just there. Stunningly beautiful, those long spinnerets helped create all this webbing. But please do not do a runner. So I'm going to have to break up all this webbing. There's like a piece of court bark there where she's uh, down and inside. So let me get rid of this and then we'll come back. So we have removed a lot of the webbing. She is hiding just there. There we go. And all I want to do is just show you her. She will grow about twice the size of that and she will web up more so, more so than what a Linotheli phallax does. So kind of expect that kind of level of webbing. But look at the size of those spinnerets. So all I'm going to do now is gently, gently, gently just giving me the run around. I think we have got her. These are not the greatest at climbing plastics. So there she is. Again, what a beautiful, beautiful spider. Absolutely stunning. They do play dead, so if yours does this, do not worry too much. There's the enclosure. We have her in here. Not going to worry uh, too much about, about this girl kind of jumping out. It's very easy. She should literally in fact we'll put her on this branch hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get don't let them guide your life towards regret i'll fight for what i love with every breath my past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out 
Boom! So that was our Ishnathalia Cordata. She hasn't got a common name. We, we sh shall we give her one? Shall we shall we, shall we call her the, the the tailed spider? Those long tails with the cordatus meaning tailed. Yeah, let's call it the tailed spider. Um, <laughs> anyway, so she's now got a common name. But we didn't go for the piece of court bark because if you put a round piece of court bark in or a curved one like this, in that curve is basically she'll web there and she'll stay. So I've gone for more of an open plan to try and encourage that bigger webbing scale and really see what talents she's got when it comes to building that web home and web fortress that she will be doing. She's absolutely beautiful. Check out the shorts over the next couple of come up coming couple of months of this girl when they go for a takedown you put a piece of food live prey in the center of the web and they literally bounce across it to get to it i've had one of these before and i'm really really happy to have this one um as previously mentioned if you know of anybody with a large juvenile male or even even a smaller smaller male please um let me know let me know down in those comments but this spider, my God, to have one again, I had one about three years ago, and they're such just a joy to keep. The webbing that they make is, I'll oh, just wait for those shorts, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, guys, remember, hit that subscribe button, and as always, we shall see you again on the next one.